Hey everybody, welcome to Shackham Gaming and Commanders Behind Enemy Lines. Let's start now with mission number 3, Reverse Engineering. It's March 1941. Repeated incursions in Norway must be organized in order to harass the occupation army and force Hitler to send troops to the zone, diverting them from the Mediterranean scenario. These incursions must meet minimum material means and maximum results. Alright, so the objective of this operation is to demolish the large dam of Sissendam near the Sima hydroelectric power plant in Eidfurt. This way several important bridges can be knocked down and the whole area will be left without electrical supply. Officer, you are going to approach the area from the north and demolish the dam with explosives placed in the base. You'll have to steal some powerful charges from inside the transformer station. Remember, only your sapper can handle them. The perimeter of the station is electrified, but the fence circuit can be turned off with this control switch. The spy in your unit is able to impersonate any German commander. Just get him a German uniform and enemy soldiers will do nothing but salute him all the way. After your task is completed, a truck will come to pick you up north from your position. This is not an easy mission, officer. Only a perfect coordination of your men will ensure success. Be sure everyone knows his place. Thank you. That is all. Alright, and so we are let loose. Alright, so this mission, actually, what the briefing officer said is pretty accurate. Surprisingly. We are gonna have to use a Good combination of our commandos here. Everybody's gonna have a role. So, for example, let's start by setting some traps with the sapper. And I'm gonna tell you as we go, because it takes a long time to set these traps and to be successful, so I'm gonna start with before I tell you guys what the mission is all about. These traps are obviously meant to take out this patrol. You're gonna see one by one they're gonna step on it. In any case, first things first, our first objective is going to be steal a uniform, which is right here. This is only accessible by water, so we will need to steal the boat first, which is right there, on the edge of the screen. Use that with the diver, bring it back here on shore, and transport the, the spy over there. Alright, once the spy gets the uniform, we will transport the spy across the level. There is a switch here that we can pull. Once we pull that, the electrified fence will be a simple fence, not an electrified anymore. And we will transport the rest of the team across, bring the supper, the supper will cut the wire. We can then steal the bombs after we take care of some of the soldiers here with the German, with the spy, I mean, I'm sorry. Now we still haven't killed the first guy of the patrol, interesting. And then we'll eliminate the rest of the soldiers, maybe with the spy or maybe with the green bear. Green bear is probably going to have a pretty minimal role in this one. A right, fun fact about the patrol. When they see a comrade fall down, they do not really care. Well, they shout, but they're outside of range for the alarm to sound, so it doesn't bother us a lick. We'll just set the trap again. I'm going to place it a bit more forward. We're going to take care of the second soldier that way. And maybe the third and last soldier will just murder in a classical fashion, I guess. Alright, I'm cutting straight back to when the patrol is coming back. I'm gonna set my sights on this guy. See how far he can see so I can safely murder the last remaining soldier. I'm gonna place my diver fairly close here as soon as this guy turns around. There you go. Go ahead and murder him. Alright, now let's regroup a bit. I'm gonna take the trap. Maybe take a body here with the green bearer. Oh, where are you going, man? <laughs> he took the the adventurers rather. I'm gonna place him here. You, sir, duck down. All right, now now it's gonna be the French is so the diver. I mean, I'm sorry. Actually, hold on. We do have quite a uh, a conundrum here. We do have two soldiers overlooking each other. Actually, this guy is covering this guy. 
So we need him out of position in order to kill him. I'm gonna use... Let's get everybody to a safer spot and I'm gonna use the green bearer. I don't think he can see the bodies, this guy over there, of the uh, of the German soldiers. If he can, we can just, you know, move them a bit further ahead. I'm gonna place a decoy right here. I think the German should be able to hear it, maybe... Let's place it a bit closer to there, like there, right on the edge. Let's do a hard save as well, it's been a while. Alright, enable this. Indeed, it attracts his attention. He did see them, but he actually prioritizes the decoy, which is very interesting. Oh well, I'm gonna take it. Close the decoy, I do not even care about the soldier, nobody can see him there. Let's just get the decoy. Alright, now... Let's take care of the other two guys. I could go immediately with the French guy, since he is going to be... the star of the next few minutes anyway. Actually, let's just bring everybody here. I'm gonna duck the spy and make him crawl towards here while I do my job with the diver. Or actually, you know what? Not the diver. I changed my mind. We're gonna take the uh, the green bear because he has both a knife and the ability to carry bodies. Right, so we are gonna take this guy, kill him and take him a bit further away from the shore. Make sure nobody from the other side of the shore can see him. I could also... Why didn't I use the body there? Hmm. Alright, let's maybe kill this guy first. I had an idea, but I'm kind of too bored to uh, put it into motion. I could have placed a body right there. Right, attract this guy's attention. But that would require me to move a whole lot of things. Now I'm kind of bored, to be honest. Is anybody overlooking this guy? I don't think anybody can see over here. I'm just gonna leave him there. Yeah, I think we could even stand and run. There might be somebody. There is like this soldier on the other side, but he has a very minimal chance of spotting me, I think. Just to be on the safe side, though. Because you see, they turn around and they kind of... Their vision kind of glitches for a split second. I'm gonna put him here. All right, now... The rest of the team, you can stand and run. And everybody stay down, except for the diver. Alright, let's get to the shore. And then we're just gonna murder everybody with the... Uh, with the diver. It's not a data complex thing. If you know how to start... So, for example, let's see what kind of soldiers we're dealing with. This guy has turned his back. He's very easy. This guy is the last one probably to take out. He is patrolling, like, the entire camp. And there's a lot of soldiers in there, like this guy, this guy, this guy too, overlooking the, uh, the actual wardrobe there. And we're gonna start with him. He is probably the more important one. I'm gonna kill him there because I do not want this guy to see him. See how he kind of extends his vision. I don't think he can see him at all. So, all right, let's take care of him immediately. I could probably just stand from now on. All right. Take care of him. These two guys should not be able to see me too far away, yes. So I'm just gonna crouch past them. I mean, go prone past them. <laughs> Did I just miss? Oh, come on. 
Jesus Christ. And that guy was like, ah, I heard a harpoon on land. I've seen, I've heard weirder stuff. <laughs> it does not warrant my attention. All right, let's uh, take the boat, kill this guy as well. Who's guarding it? I don't think the other guy comes this far to see him. Yeah, he kind of circles back right there. Now, nice, so I'm gonna wait for him to do one more round. Face towards the right of the screen. And then take him out. Alright, grab the boat. And go back to the spy. And maybe for completion sake, we just kill the other two soldiers as well. Alright, this is a uh, good time because this guy is gonna come towards us. Which means we can kill them in quick succession. Once this guy starts walking northward, then we emerge and kill the both of them. Easy peasy. All the while, let's bring the spy closer. Into the water, even. Oh, and uh, this guy is gone. Okay, cool. And with this guy being the last one on this side of the river, we essentially have cleared half the level. Alright, I'm just gonna dive here. No need to take unnecessary risks. I could deploy the boat, but I'm gonna do this only when completely necessary. Uh, let's park it here, maybe facing this direction. Uh, Mr. French. Not Mr. French, Mr. Spy. I mean, go a bit further away. Alright, now you can get in. I'm gonna hug the wall as much as I can. And I don't think anybody can see me here, so let's just offload the spy. He'll take his uniform. And then let's bring the other members close. I'm gonna take them and transport them across. Fun fact, by the way, only three people can fit inside the boat, so as soon as the spy comes we will have four but i will make the spy take the land route he will he will walk a bit he will stretch his legs <laughs> i mean he has a uniform he can do that right now that's right. back to the team all right that's not a good path finding let's try that again So now, offload the spy. The spy is going to take the long route and go all the way here to the switch. And quickly check that he's actually moving. Excellent. Everybody else is going to wait here and they're going to wait for a while. I don't know if actually I should leave them there. That could be a bit dangerous. You know what? Not just everybody out. Take the boat, and we'll do that again, just in case some prying eyes spot us from the other side of the shore. And the spy is almost there. This is a very interesting setup of soldiers, by the way. You can see they are not too close together. They are really giving us a, uh, a good opportunity to actually kill all of them. Well, almost all of them. Some of them I'm gonna maybe bring the green bear. All right, you saw I deactivated the fence. That is done. Now we can effectively... Uh, the reason we deactivated is because now we can cut through the fence. Otherwise, we couldn't. All right, now... Now, let's see. I think I can murder this guy first. Where do you see? You can see past this, right? Excellent. And there is another soldier here. I remember this. 
He can kind of see there, but I will be a bit faster than that. Let's just murder him there. Oh, that is a bit too far. Hold on, take him. Let's put him here. Ah, that seems like a good spot. Let's do a save. And now, I think nobody is looking at this guy. Should be able to just kill him. To be on the safe side, I'm probably just gonna murder everybody. It doesn't take too much time. And whenever that's the case, I usually do it. Alright, now the tricky kill is this guy. You see, he is... He's not really inside the deep green vision part. He's on the dark green vision, which means... If he's lying down, he will not be able to be spotted by other Germans. So I'm gonna wait for his vision to swing. Now kill him. And now he cannot see him. Oh, he actually can. My bad. Let's try that again. I actually shouldn't push him. Or you know what? Let me show you a trick. That is an interesting one. I can kind of push this soldier around a bit. Right? Like this and then kill him. Well, I didn't really do it, but I just, just pushed him uh, a bit towards, you know, upwards, so that he cannot be spotted by this guy. He's one of the soldiers that returns back to his position, but in any case, in some other soldiers, it actually works. All right, now, uh, I could maybe even kill this guy and these guys in quick succession. Can anybody see him? I should probably murder this guy next. He actually cannot see him. And I don't think this guy will be... Oh, he is actually able to see him. Interesting. Now, I could kill them in quick succession, though. Like, if I'm super fast... Yeah, he will spot him, but... Before he sounds the alarm... I can take care of him. Let's make just sure nobody can see this party. Where is the other soldier there? He's right there. All right, I need to quickly hide two bodies. I think I'm going to have enough time. Until this guy turns around and sees me, that is. Yep. All right. And we've dealt with this area as well. Now, these guys I'm not going to be able to fully take care of. I probably will have to bring the green berry. I think I can take care of these two. The ones that are inside the gate. Inside the fence. They're only being overlooked by this guy. And the patrol. Hold on. We need to have eyes on the patrol. Sometimes they do see you. All right now, the other guy's looking away. Time for you to go. I'm gonna hide him here. That is a uh, good blind spot and nobody can see there. Can I be spotted by this guy? I don't think I can. If I'm very fast. Ooh, that's gonna cut it close. Yes, you see the other guy turns around very quickly. All right, now effectively, we have a trio of soldiers overlooking each other, so it's not that easy anymore. I'm going to distract this guy. And then I need to bring somebody else to help me out with the rest of them. Let's go back to our soldiers over here. Oh, hold on. Scratch that. One more job that the spy has to do. Is actually clear a landing zone. I mean, for the boat, of course. Uh, I should probably wait for this guy to turn around. How far can you see? I want to kill him, but probably somewhere where nobody else can see him. Like maybe a bit closer to where I stand. Well, I could kill him here. I don't think the other guy can see him. And now, there's another soldier here. Now, do not step into the water. The water makes my commandos very slow. Oh, I forgot about him. Jesus Christ. I think I always forget about this guy. In any case, I'm gonna go in with the, with a spy, not the German. Come on, Shaken. 
dispose of him as well. All the while, we can already start planning here. Deploy the boats. Everybody get in. Am I forgetting somebody? No, they're all in. Okay, cool. So, we'll bring them over here. Everybody out. You can retrieve your boat as well. All right, the supper can now cut through the fence. And the spy should have arrived. Excellent. Let's kill this guy. All right, now let's take the spy towards the original position that I wanted behind this guy to distract him. All the while, I'm gonna get some bombs. Now, a tricky thing here is we actually get only timed bombs. We do not get remotely detonated bomb, which is very nice, very easy to use, because you can do them whenever, wherever you want. Now, we have two targets and two timed bombs. That means we're gonna have to uh, kind of time our actions a bit. All right, now you're gonna go a bit closer there. Actually, the entire team, let's bring them a bit closer. Except for maybe the green bear. Let's get the green bear in to do some killing. Now, now the spy can distract this guy first. Good talk. And the trick is this guy stands here for a long time, you can see. So it gives me a window of opportunity to kill some Germans. I unfortunately missed this round. I'm going to wait for uh, the patrol to pass by and this guy to look away. Unfortunately, I arrived at the worst possible moment here. Uh, that could be. Could that be an opportunity? Maybe. Let's see. Not good. Let's go ahead and kill this guy as well. Transport him there, and as soon as the green bear passes this mark, might be able to just stop distracting with a spy. Kill the other guy as well. Like now. Oh, that's gonna cut it a bit close. Come on, pick him up. Yeah, I cut it a bit close, but oh well. Both of you, please dump your bodies. All right, and now we've effect effectively cleared everybody that we need. I don't really care about the other ones. I think there's just the patrol and this guy remaining. I'm just going to ignore them. We have to be careful about the... There is a guy in here as well. We need to be careful about that. All right, now the spy, actually the spy, just go to the finish line. You're not needed anymore, and the boat can only fit three people, so we have three people. I should probably get the uh, green berry out as well. Oh well, it's gonna be here in the boat. Let's prepare the final attack now. Save like this, do a hard save as well, maybe. All right. Out with the boat. In goes Greenberry. And the French guy. The diver. I'm sorry. Let's go as close as we can. Well, I'm cutting it up. It's too close. No reason to do that. All right, now, here's the plan. We need to plant a bomb th uh, towards this, uh, next to this tower. As soon as it blows up, because it is a time charge, remember, we're gonna go inside the boat and wait here. When the boat explodes, when the tower rather explodes, we're gonna race towards the damp, plant another bomb and then race towards the other shore as fast as we can to avoid detection. And actually, before we get going, hold on. The main danger here and why you need to be fast 
I'm gonna bring back the spy for this. Is that this patrol... Actually, you know what? This patrol should be as far away as we can. I could bring the spy to distract them, actually. Like, if you want to be extra careful about this, just bring in the spy and put him up on the furthest place you can, up north, to distract the patrol. Alright. Now we're in a much better position. They're still gonna run, but they're gonna be... They're gonna have a quite a distance to cover, right? That is the essentially the reason I'm distracting the patrol. All right, and now, showtime. All right, oh man, <laughs> hold on. I wasn't far enough and my man died, Jesus Christ. Am I being lazy today or what? Let's go a bit further away. <laughs> Let's not blow ourselves up this time. All right, on the clock. Now, come on. Get out. Plant the bomb. Get in. Frenchie, take us to the other side of the shore quickly. Quickly, I say. Out and duck. Out and duck. Out and duck. We don't worry about the boat. Go to the meeting point. The German, the spy rather, run. Run towards the truck. You guys get in. Oh wow, are they gonna kill the truck? <laughs> I actually forgot about that. Maybe I should have started with the spy. In any case, as soon as he gets in, that's gonna be the mission. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, guys.